Okay, um, in this first video about um, uh, Photomagical, uh, one of the first kind of tips I want to give is um, using what's called the, the black slide. And this is something that um, you won't find in either of iMovie 8 or iMovie um, 6, I believe. Um, and what it does is really it's really useful because um, it kind of helps you to, to to kind of tell a story and give a little small breaks breaks in your in your slideshow. And I like to to put a um, a black slide right at the beginning of, um, of my um, slideshows um, so that when it starts it kind of eases in. And when, in the beginning, typically I might have that slide to be about. Uh, 1.8 seconds so that when you play it um, you'll see that it just kind of eases in there and then goes to the next next slide without that it just kind of pops it pops open on the on the first slide um, another thing that you can do is when you can you know you, you have a, a, a series of slides and when it when the slides kind of change from one thing to the next so for example I have here all up to here is all the pre-reading or pre-ceremony um, slides and then it's going to go into the ceremony so I might want to throw in like a little um, short clip there black clip there all right and in the preceding preceding slide I'll have it to a, a fade in and fade out kind of thing so that when I play it um, you know you see that it's going it's panning in and then um, what will happen is it, it'll it'll pan out and give a brief little black and then goes into the next segment. So that kind of signals to the viewer that something else different is happening. And um, it's really neat to be able to use the black slide. You don't have to create one outside of Photo Magical. It's right here for you. And so it's, it's really handy. Um, and it's a great way to also to use it for um, creating titles. Uh, for your slideshow as well, which I'm going to talk about in the next um, video. So, you know, I hope that's, hope that's helpful. Uh, try it out if you haven't. Thanks.